parents are always fixated on growth curves. Parents are often texting their grandparents while I'm talking to tell them what the baby's percentiles are. The baby's 90th percentile for height, and 80th percentile for weight, and 70th percentile for head circumference. But what does all that mean? People often think that a big baby is a great healthy baby, and a small baby is a scrawny skinny baby, and it's not healthy, and that is not true by any means. We want to make sure that the baby is growing along his or her growth curve. So we want to make sure that the baby is consistently on or around the percentiles. So if your baby was born at the fifth percentile for weight, I want to make sure that when your baby comes back the next visit, they're around the fifth percentile for weight the next time. I wouldn't be upset if the baby went up or the baby went down a little bit, but I want the baby to keep on growing. We cannot predict the adult height and weight from the baby's birth weights. Babies grow all at different rates and at different times. The most important thing is that your baby is thriving. We need to know that the head is growing and following the head circumference curve. We want to make sure that the baby's height is consistent and the baby's weight is consistent. The CDC has printed out curves that doctors use to plot the child until two years of age. After two years of age, they go onto a new curve for children between the ages of two and 18 years. Your child will have a growth curve plotted at every visit throughout their medical visits until age 18. You can also talk with your doctor about BMI, body mass index, which is plotted when the child is school age, after age two, to see how your child is growing and is the right weight for the child's height.